hi everyone welcome back to my channel it is my birthday month and so i'm celebrating my birthday week with my birthday will be next saturday but guess what that's my prerogative i'm celebrating the whole week so i will be cooking me something really really delicious let's get started all right so i have in this bowl some salmon that i have seasoned with um seasoned salt um a little bit of lemon pepper garlic powder and onion powder that's all i put on that and i'm gonna put those in my air fryer tonight and, and then i'm gonna make a creamy sauce a creamy curry sauce and i'm gonna combine both of those together and show you how I do it. Okay, so the um, ingredients we're gonna need for what I'm doing tonight, which is curry salmon, is gonna be a six piece of salmon. I have one onion, a tablespoonful of curry powder, and um, about 16 ounces of plant-based cashew yogurt, lemon pepper, garlic, some vegan butter. Okay, so let's get Started. Okay, so as I show you, I have my salmon already seasoned, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in my air fryer, and that's where I'm going to start. Alright, so here go my handy dandy air fryer, and guys, let me show you how lazy I am. I've gone ahead and lined the bottom of my air fryer pan, because guess what? Cleaning up should be minimal for me it's my birthday so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to spray um the bottom of this with a little olive oil you can use i mean this is avocado oil you can use olive oil or whatever oil you have and then i'm going to strategically lay them in there this air fryer is not very big so I might not be able to do more than three pieces at a time and that's okay okay so I'm just gonna do two batches three pieces at a time all right there they go all right so now that they're in there I'm gonna go ahead and just spritz the top of them with a little bit more oil and then I'm gonna slide them in the air fryer and that's why I love this air fryer guys it's set it and forget it okay I like it nice and crispy so I actually have it on the wrong setting so I'm gonna change that okay so now I have it on 350 for 17 minutes and I'm not doing both sides, I'm just doing one side. The other side is the skin and I really don't care for that side. So that's it. So while that is being done, I'm going to go ahead and start the sauce. Alright guys, so in this pot I have put about a tablespoonful of vegan butter, earth balance, and I'm going to add some garlic infused truffle butter um, truffle oil to it not a lot just gonna let that melt down and i'm gonna add some onions and some green peppers or some bell peppers rather okay so it's melted down so i've added some garlic and some onions and I'm going in with two different types of pepper, some red pepper and some orange pepper. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that saute a little bit. Then I come back and put the curry powder. Okay, everyone. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the um, curry powder. It's about a tablespoon full of curry powder and some garlic powder. Even though I have fresh garlic in there, I just love a lot of garlic. 
because it's my prerogative and it's good for you guys it's good for you okay so yes the fragrance that I'm looking for is hitting my nostrils awesome all right so the heat has been reduced and now I'm just gonna add this is the cashew yogurt guys um, yo the cashew um, plain cashew yogurt this is gonna give the thickness that you're looking for you can also use heavy cream for this process but uh -uh, I'm not messing up my flow I'm using the cashew yogurt guys and this is going to give it the cream that you're looking for and um, not going to add any water to it I'm just going to let it slow simmer taste it as you go to make sure it's tasty okay yes I'm going to let it slow simmer might put some pepper and stuff like that in there all right, I'm going in with some seasoned salt and I'm going to add a little bit of crushed pepper and again turn this down low so it doesn't burn. I'm going to add a little crushed pepper. I know that's not in the ingredients. This is optional. Okay. And if it's a little too thick for you, you can add a little veggie broth to it. Okay. All right, I've added a little oregano. And now I'm gonna add a little veggie broth. Just to thin it out a tad bit. You can also add turmeric to this. If you don't have a curry that's going to give it this nice curry flavor um, color okay okay guys my air fryer just went off so I'm gonna go in for these pieces that are cooked and guys look take a good look I don't know if you can see there they go trust me when I tell you the air fryer is a savior <sighs> So I'm just going to go ahead and remove these pieces, nicely done, nice and crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. Now I'm going to put in the second batch and I'm doing the same thing that I did before, just three pieces, put a little oil on top. There they go. Just gonna spritz three spritz of oil. And they're going back in this bad boy. And there they go. So let me finish up the sauce as I await that. Alright guys, there's a key ingredient that I didn't tell you about that I'm going to be putting in the sauce. And I just added a little bit more of the veggie stock or broth. Let me bring my camera up. So, um, nutritional yeast guys, this works well with if you're going to use the um, cashew yogurt. Again, for this recipe, you can also use heavy cream, but I am um, kind of treating my body a little differently, which is my prerogative, like I say. So you can use heavy cream. If you use heavy cream, you will not need the nutritional yeast, but if you don't and you use the yogurt, yes, then you're gonna need a little nutritional yeast in it, not much. So I'm going to go ahead and I would say, you know, let the spirit lead you, depending on how much salmon you're using. And um, 
just taste it as you go like I said if you go, you know make the sauce to your liking okay get wild and wacky with it all right all right now for the second batch of my salmon there they go look at that look at that golden crispy brown color guys if you don't have an air fryer you are missing out truly missing out all right guys so my Salmon is all finished. Let me tilt this so you can see what I'm doing. Actually, <clears throat> go ahead and get the spare fry out the way so I have more room. All right, so now that we have the salmon all done and my sauce is all done, I'm just gonna go ahead and spoon some sauce over the salmon and I'm going to go ahead and put them in the oven at, um, and broil for about five or so minutes, guys. Remember, everybody is already cooked. So I'm just going to set them in the oven for about five or ten minutes. No longer. It shouldn't even be ten. Broil. Get your oven nice and hot and just broil it for five minutes, okay? 500 degrees or so. Five minutes. Look at that bad boy. Nicely submerge everybody with the sauce. sauces to die for guys give it a try ease up on the heavy cream and give it a try it's do more for you than the heavy cream okay so okay now I'm just gonna put it in the oven at 500 for about five or ten minutes just use your discretion on that one okay but remember the salmon is cooked and you don't want to overcook it or dry it out okay okay guys here goes the beauty I told you five minutes and I got caught up on the phone so mine was in there about close to ten minutes not quite ten minutes and on broil and there is what we have look at that looky 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 is that beautiful or what all right so i'm gonna go ahead and plate it because i like i told you guys it's my birthday week so I'll, every day this week i'm doing good for myself so i'm gonna go ahead and plate this bad boy and i'm gonna sit down and enjoy it with a large glass of kombucha all right guys so here is the full plate and what I have next to it right there is I cook some noodles and then I saute some mushrooms, some sugar snap peas, some red peppers and um, orange peppers and it's gluten free noodles guys. This is it. Organic brown rice and quinoa pasta noodles and this is my um dinner tonight so i have my salmon right there a little bit of the gravy and my pasta right here with my beans dinner is served and i'm gonna go ahead and do a taste test for you all right so here we have it my salmon and noodles our pasta I'm going to do a taste test with the salmon for you guys and I know I normally don't taste my food to let you see but let me tell you something this right here trying to get it up on the fork this right here 
is good. Why is it fighting me? Okay, here it is. There you go, a nice portion of it right there. And it's mm -hmm. and the salmon is still, even though it went over a little bit, it is still nice and juicy, not dried out, not overdone. And I have my pasta here to go with it, guys. So looky, looky, looky here. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and also guys, thank you so much. Have a great day. I'm going to enjoy dinner right now.